Hi, Carol here and welcome to my craft room. I am so excited to be doing a craft for you and it's going to be a clean and simple card. I have been able to take some online clean and simple card classes and uh, this is one that really um, caught my eye and I wanted to case it and show you how easy it is for a trifle card. It's really an awesome awesome card so what you're going to need are some balloon dies any type of balloon dies now I just ordered some balloon dies from Stampin Up they haven't arrived yet so I had to go into my stash and I used one of these tag dies from MFT my favorite things and it was from this set but it looked like a balloon because I needed a small one cut out in this is Stampin' Up! cardstock, nice and thick. I think it's 85 pounds. And so you want to get a smaller balloon. And then I chose to use the My Favorite Things balloon set. It has four different sizes, and I'll show you what we're going to do there. First, you're going to cut out a smaller size balloon on the front panel. So this goes like this. You've taken a five and a half inch piece of cardstock by 11 and you've scored it on here at three and five eighths then flip it over and score it again at three and five eighths and then you get your trifold like this okay the small one of your smaller balloon dies no matter what die set you're using from which company uh, you just need balloon dies. So I put a smaller one there and then I stepped it up to a next size which I cut out of Stampin' Up! gold paper. And that is going to be the inlay for this balloon die opening right here. So when you close it, you are going to get this effect. Isn't that awesome? And so you have one, one size bigger. So put that along with your little black one. And then what you're going to do is you're going to cut another size here. And whatever sentiment you're going to use going across here, when you open it up, that sentiment is going to be on the middle fold. So you want to make sure that it, you know, is a reasonably sized balloon shape. All right. And nothing here in the center. So you have balloon on the left smaller you have a balloon for your sentiment on the lower right and then up here you're going to have a a wider balloon to cover this front panel if you understood any of that now because when i fold this there's just a little bit of cardstock showing so out of the stampin up uh, gold glitter i cut out two uh, these are quarter inch and I'm going to have them running on the inside and outside here just to give it some little glam, glam it up. All right, so put your scoreboard away. I got that little scoreboard because it's easy for my desk. Now I've put on some nice piece of white cardstock as to not dirty up my clean and simple card. All right, now you're going to want to get some glue on here and I had already uh, put this one tape taped it down with some Sukuniko one and a half inch double-sided tape but I think I'm going to use some uh, Tombow so I can move it around so I will use my fine liner and just squeeze out some glue around the edges and some in the middle. This is awesome fine liner. There's two different kinds. There's this one that uh, it, let's see, you get two to a pack and see how it sets right inside there. It's an applicator, but then you can also get the detailed, uh, that the detailed pin is on the top. It just sets right over any glue stem that you have. So it's an either or situation there okay so let's take our balloon right here grab your tweezers and now let's do this I'm going to put the tweezers on the other side here so when I close this and you could draw like you could uh, draw that out 
But I don't think I'm going to have to. I think being able to move it around, this will sit pretty good underneath there, actually. Okay. Then you can grab your tweezer and move it to where you think you need it because you have that positioning uh, ability now that you haven't stuck it down with double-sided tape. And there you have a beautiful balloon on the third portion of the inside panel, right next to your sentiment cutout die balloon. Okay, so now grab your bone folder. And I like this bone folder. It's the Teflon bone folder because it doesn't leave any shiny residue on your clean and simple cards. So you're going to want to make some nice score marks here. And you wouldn't believe that this would be such a good bone folder, but it is. If you try this out to, say, one of your other type, I still use them, but not to do clean and simple cards, my other bone folders. Now, another thing I wanted to show you, and this is my EK Success uh, curved uh, pinchy thing, tweezer, because I can't find my... Um, my other one, my Busy Bee or whatever that is. Now, for your glue stick, I could not get this green out. It only comes out so far. Can you see that? That green end. So what I do is I just take some ortho wax. You can get this at your um, pharmacy. And take a little piece out of there. Roll it up in your finger. <coughs> excuse me and put it at the end here and look at you will be able to pick I'm serious you can pick up anything with this look at and it will stick and stick all you have to do is maneuver the wax on the end so that's my tip for the day then you're going to want some circles some little circle uh, stamps now I don't mind cutting apart cheaper stamp sets so I had this one I don't know uh, it's a photopolymer set, but I didn't mind cutting some of them up to get this round circle effect. See, it had some circles here, and you know, you just want a cluster to make it look like um, bubbles all over your balloons. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set, uh, let's do this. We have this, and I think what I'm going to do. You can use your stems that you stamp on, but to save time, I am going to grab a multi-liner. Uh, you can use a Copic. This is a 0 0.03. I think I want it a little thicker than that. I think I'm going to move up to a 5. Excuse me for reaching over. Uh, a 1 and a 5. There's a 5. All right, I have to see how, yes, a five is nice. Now, I don't know, I have these stemmed ones. Let's open it up. They're kind of cute. Maybe I will stamp it. All right, let's get some Versafine Onyx Black ink. And I will try it this way. There we go. And I even have the bow, but I don't think we're going to need the bow. Lift up. That's awesome. Look at that. Then you can open it up. And let's, let's see. Let's place it on here. I think on this one, I'm going to have to, oh no, I have something here that came off of my paper. Turn it over. That's okay. So what I'll do with this one while this one is drying. Um, I have another one here. Let's use this just twirly one. You have to watch that ink, don't you? So let's take this one and Up. I like it because it's nice and thick. Okay, and then I think we'll put that aside. 
and I don't mind this because I will put a few black circles here so that you don't see that. You always have to deal with that when you're doing clean and simple cards. So just pick yourself a random circle and I will set one there, up there, down here. Oh. On that one, I'm not going to go back in. I'm going to use my Copic mark marker here and I am going to draw that on. <clears throat> there we are. And you'll never know. Okay, so that is on the inside, like so. So we have this moving in. I don't want to shut it right now, but this goes like that. Now we need a sentiment right here in this space. So let's take a pencil. Look at my desk. Wow. And I better make sure. Let's move in a bit on here. There we are. Take a pencil so that when you're looking for a sentiment, you know the size that you're able to fit inside there. And I had a one that said party, but I tried it out and it didn't fit the last one, but I am going to try it on this one. So um, I could use, let me see, I could use my Misty, but I'm going to try it here on a block. Oops, sorry for the noise. I don't want to get any of this black on my fingers. So let's press down, press down, and let's try some Versafine ink, and it just says party. I'm not sure where, I think I just got this at Michael's back in the day. So you've got your circle there and you're going, I'm going to stand up so I can fit it right in side, straighten it up. I gotta see where that line is, sorry. Should have drawn that a little bit. There we go. So let's, hopefully that works. I'm gonna hold it just a little bit. Because this photopolymer is not, it's probably not photopolymer, it's probably something else. But we will see if we get a good image. Beautiful. Could have moved it over a little bit, but see my Misty would have been perfect for that. Then grab yourself an eraser. Okay, and take out your pencil mark. And it really is a quick card if you're not if you're just sitting and not preparing it for a video, you really enjoy this. And you can add, you know, you can add to it. Just take some of that off. There we go. I apply my baby powder when I do embossing with this. Okay, so let's cover up your Versafine that away. Now you want to take this little small black balloon that we did. Before I do that, take a baby wipe. Keep our hands nice and clean. There we are. And I want to do, okay, party. Yes. Let me get up there. Isn't that awesome? Fits perfect. Okay, so then what do I need to do now? That's going like this. Okay, so this one is going to go... Um, let's put it right there. Well, while we're deciding, I could put it... No, I want it up here. Yeah. Alright, so let's get some... This is Tombow. I write on the back of them. One I have glossy accents and one I have Tombow. 
and it just squeezes out perfectly, these fine liners. And you get to put that back in, like so. Boy, should have washed my glasses. <clears throat> Just fit it. Once I get that in, I'm certainly not taking it out again. Okay, let's grab our tweezers and let's put this on where we need it. Make sure none of this is coming off. All right. I think I will put it right, you know, I could cover it right here and draw a line. Will that show? That's what you have to make sure it's not going to show at all. I think I like that actually. And that covers up my mess. And then take your white uh, chalk ink, your Stampin' Up! white chalk ink. That for the life of me, I had it right here, but you're going to take that, and I need that, so I'm going to have to get up and see where I put it. I didn't put it away. Maybe I will use, because we have that glue, why don't we use, um, we can use color box. My Stampin' Up! one just disappeared, so I'll use the color box. And your pokey tool, not a pokey tool, you want to use your stylus. And let's set this out like that. Try it. Maybe I will do a more thick. Uh, no, maybe not. Let's see how this works. One. Love it. Just kind of twist it back and forth and you get those little holes. There we are. You don't need to set it in there as much as I did. And you can go over it. It's my dog trying to get in. Isn't that cute? So, color box is beautiful. Stampin' Up! came out with, I ordered them with a few colors of them, three I think, with the refills. So then you want to clean off your emboss tool, put that away, and let's finish this up. See how much time I have there, and if you're in the frame. So now, oh my, look at that on the back. <laughs> Can I get away from actually doing a clean and simple card without messing it up here? We have to always have a plan, and this is a back plan, so let me see. What can I do there? Why don't we, for the back, uh, take our balloons, and I will take two of them, and we'll put balloons on the back in the gold. I'll do one black and one okay let's see another reason why I don't do many clean and simple cards all right so let's go that will cover it all right so let's reach around and grab our glitter I use this look at I use this right up okay and that's why you have to be so careful, isn't it, when you're doing these? Okay, we'll run that through. Change of plan. And we're almost finished, so that's all right. Run them through your die cutting machine. Like so. Grab some glossy accents. And 
because you don't want to through this one. Sorry I'm not working so fast. It's been a long time here. There we go. And put some around there. I don't want it to come out of the edges. So let's put one right to cover that. There we are. And then what I might do here, and that's the back, so that's okay. See, you cannot see that at all. I am just going to go with, can you go with one? I don't know. Let me see. I could use some of the, let's go with two. use some black cardstock and I'll do the perfectly round one. That's kind of nice. Then to finish this card, which is really easy, is I'm going to put glossy accents all around here, or maybe some Winkostella. So if I use Winkostella, I kind of like the back side of this. Uh, there we are. One, two. Then I will take a thin. And I'll use the Wink of Stella going down here to be really nice. Thicken it up. Okay. I don't want to put my hand in this one. There we go. Not pretty. And now we'll just lay down our little circles and we're finished. Okay. And this is the back of my card. And if you wanted to, you could take a large base. Let's find a nice large round base that we could use. I can't remember what I used the last time. Let's take our color box white ink and put some bigger. Oh, they turned out the same. Look at that. And put some pretty little circles in there with the end of your Okay, so we have that. Now our sentiment and we're finished. Let's see what we have here. This is the back. I think that's cute. And here is the front or the inside panel. And this is where I need to have my color. 
So let's go down on here. Hopefully nothing is going to interrupt. There we are. And I think I'm going to put out the... I keep these little uh, wipes. I make up wipes in there. So I have the slate. And uh, Could anything more happen? There we go. And I think I'm going to go with the light. Let's the crisp cantaloupe. Let's quickly grab all of our stamps we chose that are circles and we're going to come down here like so. That's awesome. Change up. That's cute. Add some in here and we're pretty well finished. I'm not going to press very hard on there. I want to give... Okay, and then I had some of these little ones. Let's try this. love that. And you have a clean and simple card. That easy. Isn't that awesome? Now we can switch that up even and get some single dots if you want to just add a few so that they're falling down like so. I think what I'll do on here, then you can change it up to your gray, uh, slate. Hmm. Let's do some two step stamping there to add some shadow. It almost looks like drops of ink. Really pretty. All right, let me show you before it's time to close how nice this looks. And you can add glossy accents, like I said, to here. Um, I kind of like this. I am going to grab this black here. Clean it off. Let's grab some. I want to be able to show you here. There we are. Crisp cantaloupe. And I see something right there. Because I used it on. There. I'm finishing it up. That's it. Then I'll use some glossy accents and Let's close this up before I get anything on it so I can put it in an envelope and send it off. And let me put this quick strip of gold down the front. I think that will add to it right there. Let's imagine that's on there. <laughs> 